Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I got a pretty cool video for you guys. I'll be showing you guys how to put a password on files and folders using encryption. The very first method we're gonna show, I'm going to show you guys is using um, 7-Zip or WinRAR. I'll have the 7-Zip download in the link below, but simply right-click on a file that you want to put a password on, click Add to Archive, go to the Advanced tab, and click Set Password. Type in a password in that white box there, and you even have the option to encrypt the file name. If you encrypt the file name, when you open up it up, it won't even show you guys what the files are in there until you type the password in. After typing in the password, open it up, and you have access to your files. Next we have Microsoft Office. If you go to the Info tab on your document, you can click Encrypt a Password. After typing your password in twice, it will automatically encrypt that file with the password. So no matter where you go, or bring that file anywhere you go, it's going to ask you for the password before you can open it up. So simply just save it to somewhere you'd like it. So for example, the desktop. And when you reopen it, it's going to ask you for your password before you can see the information. Next up, we have BitLocker. BitLocker is only available on Windows 7 Professional and Enterprise, and Windows 8 Pro, and I think above. So to check out if you have it or not, just go to your Start Menu or Store Orb and type in Bit, and you'll see BitLocker Drive Encryption if you have it. BitLocker allows you to encrypt external hard drives, internal drives, and USB flash drives. Plug in a device, click Turn On, and use a password to unlock this device. Type in your password, and it will encrypt your drive. If you do this on a flash drive, every time you plug the flash drive in, it will ask you to type in the password before you can access the data on it. Next, we have the standard encrypting service that's available on Windows. Um, this is called Encrypting File System, EFS. If you right-click the, the file, go to Properties, Advanced, and it'll be there right there. Now, not all versions of Windows have this. Some do, some don't. Take notice though, if you do this method, it uses your Windows user account password. So if you forget that password, you cannot use this system. And if you pull the file off your hard drive, it's no longer encrypted. Next we have TrueCrypt. Because TrueCrypt is a pretty complicated program and it takes too long to show you guys each different way, I'm gonna sum it all up. Basically TrueCrypt, you can do a file container, which is a um, file container, basically a folder, with all your files in it. You can do a certain volume or an entire flash drive, or you can do your whole Windows system drive, which basically every time you turn your computer on, before Windows even starts, you have to type a password in. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.